So I think that one of my jobs is to keep you people alive. So have a good look at these leaves. This is the celery once again. You will note that is a, a groove or a gutter running down the stem, which obviously is enlarged on your cultivated celery. This is a chief characteristic to identify this plant. And here I am with a leaf of water hemlock dropwort. Might not be picking it up. But these leaves are these leaf stalks are basically they're round, they don't have a pronounced groove that runs all the way down the, the leaf stalk. More rounded lobes, I'd say a little tad more frilly. And here's the poison hemlock. Notice this red colouring. Notice the red spots on the stem. Absolutely crucial. If you see any red spots, I don't harvest any umbellifer that has red splotches. You will get umbellifers that have stems and leaf stalks that are basically purple all over. Cow parsley being an example. But when I see these red spots, I'll tend to leave them alone until I know more. The leaf. Again, quite finely divided. Quite a sombre green. It's what's known as three to four times pinnate. And that essentially means have the whole leaf here this is the whole leaf so when we talk about a pinnate division we're talking about opposite pairs of leaflets so here on the hemlock we go once pinnate these leaflets opposite here we're looking at now twice pinnate this division here within that we're looking at the three times pinnate now, here and here. And even within that leaf, there are then opposite leaflets again, four opposite pairs of leaflets, the divisions there, four times pinnate. Leave this alone, conium maculatum. I believe the maculata means spotted. Socrates' blood is what it's referred to. So just leave it alone, it will kill you.